Hi, my name is L.A. Remizel, and this is how I make my reads. Uh, today, I'm going to go through all the processes with you, uh, from uh, pre-gouging, gouging, shaping, and actually tying and scraping the reed. Right, so there's a lot of processes involved. It starts uh, from tube cane that's already been soaking here for about uh, 40 minutes. And so I have to just very quickly uh, split this into three parts. Do this, like that. And now I'll use the gouging machine guillotine to um, adjust it to the right size. Right, it kind of looks like this. So the next process is when the skein uh, that's just been split, we put it through a pre-gouger just to thin it out a little bit. Okay. Now we go to the gouging. Probably one of the most important uh, parts of making a good read is having a nice gouge. So maybe a little bit on this side. A little bit on this side as well. Okay, so the last step uh, of this kind of beginning preparation process is the shaping of the cane. A lot of people use the shaper tip. I use uh, the shaping machine from Reeds and Stuff, which is wonderful. It has these two blades on either side, and you just kind of uh, take your gouged piece, you center it in the middle, clamp it down, and just go back and forth. And there you go. You have a perfectly shaped piece of cane. Okay, now that we've cleaned up a little bit, we'll go to tying the reed. Now you can see that the cane has already been scored in the middle, so I can just look and kind of just fold it over. So it's now folded like this. And tying is actually one of the more difficult, um, difficult steps of reed making, I think, because you gotta make sure there's no imperfections and the cane is not slanted uh, to one side or uh, you're not over tightening one side over the other or with the string. So it's, a, it's actually taken me a little time before I could really do this perfectly, okay? And now we just tie. Okay, so now I go to the last stage uh, of the reed making process, which is probably the lengthiest process. Uh, it, it's the scraping and the removing of the cane and actually refining the reed. Um, so now I have a perfectly tied reed, you know, to length. It's not leaking. Uh, and I just kind of take my knife and I take the bark off just to, uh, just to thin it out, make it vibrate, and create the channels. Great, so I can already tell it's gonna be a pretty good read. Um, so I just uh, blended it, uh, I just thinned it out and made a little bit more definition than the tip. And uh, here's how it sounds. It's, it's gonna be a little bit raw for now, but um, I'm looking for that free quality, that, that free co blowing quality, the vibration of the read. So it's a little bit flat. Uh, and a little bit wonky, but you know, um, a little bit more definition in the size of the tip uh, will give it that nice cushion and a nice sound, and maybe a little clip will bring it up to pitch. So now we're just going to bring the final touch. Is the last clip? Uh, I'm going to use a fresh razor blade, uh, just so it doesn't tear any bit of the tip. It's very sharp. 